Hey everybody, what's up? This is RG Sabat. Welcome back to episode number five. Today I'm going to be showing you how to notch tube. So I got a little bit of a demo going and uh, we're gonna go to the shop and get that set up for you. All right, so today what I'm gonna try to do is uh, notch some tube for you. Um, I have two pieces of scrap uh, tube here lying on my bench. Uh, these tubes, um, I, uh, I just kind of tack welded them together so they are perfectly straight. Uh, they're parallel to each other. And what I'm gonna try to do is basically run a piece of tube that goes from here to here and I want to show you how to actually notch it so I'm just gonna take another scrap piece of metal here and I'm gonna show you how it actually fits in uh, notched so um, uh, it will be good and straight and flat and it will be easy for, uh, to weld so what I'm gonna use here is my angle finder I mean obviously there are other ways of doing this but I, uh, I just want to show you how to use the angle finder here so uh, as you can see the angle finder I set it at, at an angle of approximately 50 degrees and uh, uh, you can see here that uh, basically I just put two scribe marks uh, the blue marks on the lower and the upper tube at exactly 50 degrees and that's kind of the, uh, the, the first step well what I use sometimes uh, I find a really nice uh, neat trick here that I use for tube notching is I use some uh, masking tape uh, I just lay it over the tubes, the upper and the lower, approximately where I want it and this will give me kind of an idea how the tube is going to look like before I actually notch it. So the distance between the two tubes is actually uh, 5 inches exactly, so I set it at 5 inches uh, left to right and basically the angle from here to here is 50 degrees. So if I do uh, some trigonometry, if I have 5 inches here and if I want this angle here to be 50 degrees then the distance uh, between this point and this point which is a straight line to the, uh, to the bottom point is actually 5.95 inches. So this is uh, an example of how, of how you can use trigonometry in order to help you calculate the angles. Okay, so what is the length of the tube that I'm going to have to cut in order to start off with the notching? So if I want to, I could just use my measuring tape to measure the distance between this point and the bottom point, and I end up with approximately eight and three quarter of an inch. So basically now I'm ready. So I take this piece of tube, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to approximately, well, I'm gonna leave it at eight and three quarter. I always go a little bit longer just in case, and then I can trim it later if I want to. So I'm just gonna go eight and three quarter, cut it, and then I'm gonna be ready to do the first knot. So I got my tube notcher set up with my drill and uh, as you can see here I've got a scale on the tube notcher and then I can decide the angle at which I want to notch. So obviously here remember that I said I'm going to notch uh, at 50 degrees but uh, 50 degrees uh, this is one, one of the angles that I have but you have to remember that the complementary angle to that is, is 40 degrees. Okay, so I can either notch at 40 degrees or at 50 degrees. It's much better to always uh, notch at the smaller angle, which is the complementary angle. So I'm going to set it at uh, 40 degrees and then I'm going to tighten it up and then get ready to clamp my tube on the other side. So I basically I just put my tube and then clamp it and get it all ready.
So as you can see now, I, uh, I notched the first side of the tube. So basically I just put it uh, on the first spot where I want it. So it's perfectly uh, in place. Then I line it up with the center of the mark that I put here. And now what I'm trying to do is I need to find exactly where I'm going to notch the tube and the second spot. So the best way to do this is you can see here there's a there's a short side and there's a long side here to the notch. So the opposite side uh, it's going to be the opposite. So this is going to be the long side and this is going to be the short side here. So what I like to do is I always like to start notching from so I, I like to notch from this side in so I notch always from the short side to the long side and here which means now I'm gonna have to notch this guy from the short side to the to the long side I can also mark my tube approximately here this is where where the the uh, the short side is going to start okay so it's approximately right here for the short side and now I know that I'm going to have to notch it this way in in order to fit and it's going to be exactly the same angle. I'm not, I'm not going to change the angle on my notcher. So 40 degrees in this case. Okay, so I wanted to show you one of the problems that you can get when you're notching a tube. For instance, uh, if you look at this tube here, I started not notching it at the mark that I set earlier, just looking at it from here, okay, this way. And what I notice is that it's, it's too long. So if the tube is too long, then it's, it's not going to go... Um, uh, in all the way when I'm trying to notch it uh, with the hole saw so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna cut it off okay so basically I don't I don't need all this part here so this is all an extra so I could just pick a, a spot like somewhere in the middle like somewhere around here alright so I did cut it off a little bit shorter on this side and then I tried to notch it again but as you can see I couldn't break through all the way to the other side it just kind of bottomed out in the in the hole saw so what I have to do now is uh, pretty much just cut off uh, a little piece. It's the piece uh, right here. So this extra piece, I can just cut it off. And this will give me more room to actually finish the notch with the notcher. Alright, here you go. So you can see this is the rough notch. Now it has been done. Uh, it's uh, it's almost good to go. Uh, what I always uh, try to do is basically uh, just try to make sure that I clean it up, clean up the edges here, and then uh, and then I run the uh, the grinder on the edges to expose some clean metal for 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 welding. Um, and usually this is where I try to fit it as good as possible. I think I have a gap of about a, an eighth here. Uh, so one eighth really is the largest gap that I will usually just leave, but uh, I usually sometimes like if I'm if it's this is a, a stress or a critical area, I try to not leave like uh, uh, not to leave any any uh, gaps here at all. So I'm just gonna clean it up with my grinder here, and now I'll, I'll show you the uh, the end result. Alright, so uh, basically what I had to do is I cleaned it all up as you can see here 
and I just use my grinder to get a little bit of the uh, of the steel of the metal from here just to get it to fit perfectly and I also clean the other side um, you have to remember if you're welding it uh, you have to make sure to clean the residual oil uh, from the inside I usually use either uh, varsol or some paint thinner or acetone or whatever you have solvent just make may make sure that it's a, it's a solvent that is safe uh, the fumes are safe for welding and make sure you clean it uh, really nicely before you weld it and as you can see here it's uh, it's it's a perfect fit so the gaps are very very minimal like I don't I don't think the, I, I don't even have one eighth of an inch uh, of gap and they are exactly where I marked uh, put my two marks so uh, uh, this notch is is is, uh, is perfect so this tube is perfect so I get it approximately as much as possible and I always try to make it a little bit longer than normal because it's much easier to trim if it was too short then this is going to go into the uh, the recycling bin it's not going to work out I'm going to have to make another one but so that's why I use eight and three quarter to start off with which is a little bit longer than normal but now that I had to trim it it, it actually works exactly what I wanted so it's it's perfect and it's ready for tack welding all right well this is it for uh, episode number five on how to notch two um, I'm not going to show you how to bend two because I've already made a video uh, earlier, I think it was last year, and how to bend tube. I'll put a link for that video uh, at the end of this video here, so you can uh, you can see how I bend tube. And then for episode number six, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the positioning of the seats and the radiator. Uh, to me, this is these are the two most important uh, starting point after we position the drivetrain in, in in place and we already built the uh, the subframe. These are the two, the two, the first two items that are that I put on the on the chassis. So uh, stay tuned for next episode, uh, number six coming soon.